Welcome to Movies Recapped. Today we will recap the 2022 movie, Beauty and the Billionaire, in which Addison Burke travels with Justin Ross, the picky billionaire, as an assistant in her brother Pete's place, so he doesn't lose his job. She becomes his assistant so he can close a business deal with a former business partner, Katrina, and she clashes with the billionaire until both start to see more in each other than they thought. Let's look deeper. The story begins with Addison Burke going to work, where she is interrupted by a doctor's call to handle patient paperwork and lab samples. After the call, she plans to have lunch with her brother and reminds the lab to call the doctor back. Meanwhile, Pete, her brother, arrives at his office with various tasks. He is instructed by his boss, Justin, to be in his office immediately for a meeting. During the meeting, Justin is rude to Pete and demands updates on Katrina, a woman they seem to be working with. He also orders Pete to make dinner reservations before dismissing him from the office. Pete leaves Justin's office and calls someone to gather information about Katrina. While on his way to meet Addison for lunch, Justin sends an angry message, and Pete apologizes to Addison before rushing back to work. Unfortunately, he gets into an accident on his electric scooter and ends up in the hospital with a broken leg. Addison offers to take him home, but Pete insists on going to work to prove his injury. With Addison's help, he manages to handle work tasks despite his condition. During a conversation with Justin, Pete reveals Katrina's vacation plans, but Justin decides to bring someone else to St. Martin instead of Pete. Feeling threatened and worried about losing his job, Pete comes up with a solution involving Addison. They propose to Justin that Addison accompanies them on the trip, highlighting her strengths. After some confusion, Justin agrees, warning Pete of the consequences if the plan fails. Addison is initially disappointed with the sudden plan, but Pete explains his reasons, and she eventually agrees to help him with Justin's proposition. Day 1. During the plane ride, Addison is concerned about Pete's condition, but Justin gets annoyed by her questions. She notices a book on the table, and Justin tells her to read it but adds an insult. They arrive at Justin's house, and Addison admires the place, but Justin reminds her they're not on vacation. Pete asks her not to embarrass him. Justin rudely dismisses his helpers and instructs them about dinner at 7 p.m. Addison helps Pete settle in but is asked to find another room by Justin. He rudely tells her to unpack his bags before leaving. Justin swims while Addison prepares dinner. Pete comes out, and Addison discusses Justin's treatment of them. They eat by the pool and look forward to the next day. Day 2. Addison is annoyed by Justin's book and leaves the room. Justin and Pete discuss their company, and Justin plans to meet Katrina Sawyer. He asks Addison to help him talk to Katrina casually. Confused, she agrees. Addison tries to find Katrina's hotel but learns it's a yacht arriving the next day. Justin invites Addison to play golf. During the game, Addison hears about Katrina's arrival. Justin gets annoyed, insulting Pete. At the moment Addison takes Pete's side. Addison feels embarrassed when Justin sees her reading his book. Day 3. Addison and Justin insult each other during breakfast. She goes to the marina and overhears Katrina's plans. Back at the house, Justin wants Addison to join him for dinner with Katrina as a cover-up. Addison agrees reluctantly. At the boutique, she complains to Pete, but they come up with the plan. At the restaurant, Justin and Addison arrive early, trying to make it seem coincidental. Justin greets Katrina, but she's distant. Addison talks to Katrina and gets invited to lunch. She tells Justin he can't join. Later, Pete shares information about Katrina's past with Justin. Justin observes Addison making origami. Beach lunch date. Addison meets Annie, Katrina's daughter, at the beach and gives her an origami. She bonds with Annie, then gets to know Katrina, sharing stories about her brother and hearing about Katrina's experiences with Justin. Justin interrupts and invites Addison to jet ski, but Katrina avoids him. Addison and Justin talk, and she updates him on her lunch with Katrina and her feelings about their boss. Back at the house, Addison confronts Justin about his mistreatment of her brother and herself, leaving him defensive. She confides in Pete and refuses to tolerate insults directed at her brother. Day 5. Justin cooks breakfast to make amends, and Addison questions why he never takes a day off. Justin decides to take a day off and allows Pete and Addison to do the same. They head to the beach, and Justin ends up joining them. Addison and Justin have a deep conversation, learning more about each other. Annie and Katrina join, and Addison invites Katrina for dinner and turtle watching. Addison worries about manipulating Katrina but encourages Justin to be genuine. Pete worries about Addison getting closer to Justin. Day 6. Justin offers to drive Pete to his doctor's appointment, and they bond during the ride. 
They wait on Justin's boat for Katrina, and Addison and Justin have more meaningful conversations. They enjoy snorkeling, and Justin apologizes to Katrina, seeking her opinion on his proposal. Back at the house, Justin thanks Addison for bridging the gap with Katrina. He works on proposals, and Pete becomes concerned about Justin's intentions towards Addison. Addison shows interest in Justin's dating life, causing Pete to worry more. Day 7. The next morning, Pete is surprised by Justin's friendly demeanor. Addison and Justin go horseback riding on the beach and have a deep conversation, forming a deeper connection between them. They almost share a moment, but the horses interrupt. At a meeting to discuss the proposal, Katrina is suspicious of Justin's deal, wanting more information in caution. After the meeting, Justin apologizes to Addison for his harsh reaction. Day 8. Pete is eating cereal when Justin walks into the kitchen and surprisingly asks about Pete's leg in a friendly manner. Addison joins them, and Justin invites her to go horseback riding. During the ride on the beach, Addison and Justin have a deep conversation and share a connection. Justin leans in to kiss Addison, but they are interrupted by the horses. Back home, Addison thanks Justin for the ride, and Pete tells her about Justin's plan to win over Katrina, which worries her. They prepare for the meeting, and Katrina expresses suspicions, wanting more information. After the meeting, Justin apologizes for his behavior towards Addison. Day 9. The next morning, Pete wakes up Justin as an article about his proposal to Katrina has been leaked. They plan to leave to resolve the issue. On the plane, Justin is anxious and dismisses Addison's opinion rudely. Justin's team discusses their strategy, but Addison is concerned about Justin's manipulative approach. He belittles her, leaving her embarrassed. They return to the island to convince Katrina again. During the ride back, tensions rise between Addison and Justin. Justin eventually apologizes, but their relationship remains strained. Addison runs into Katrina while shopping, and Katrina apologizes, expressing hope for Addison's return. Back at the house, Pete points out Addison's feelings for Justin. Justin overhears their conversation and realizes his behavior. At dinner, Addison serves Justin but remains distant. Pete talks to Justin about his feelings and work, leading Justin to realize his mistakes. That night, both Justin and Addison find it hard to sleep, contemplating their feelings. Last day. Addison decides to leave the island to distance herself from Justin. She asks Pete not to tell Justin about her departure. Justin meets with Katrina and proposes a strategic partnership, ready to listen to her needs. Returning home, Justin surprises Addison with flowers, expressing his feelings and apologizing for his actions. He wants to make things work with Addison, and she reciprocates her feelings. They kiss and take a chance on their relationship.